Hi, Rick Hood of Navigation Northwest and Hood Consulting and Services here. Just wanted to share with you in a few moments how to put quality aerial and topographic maps on a GPS such as a Garmin, Oregon, or a Montana series. Okay, here is the GPS. And if you see, I go to Setup and under Maps. Right now, if I go to Map Information, I have two maps here. I have the 1 to 24,000 scale maps that Garmin provides that are good uh, for Washington State as well as the 1 to 100,000 series for the entire U.S. But I'm going to add a custom map or custom maps, but I'm just going to show one in this uh, demo. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. Here is the 1 to 24,000 map in Terrain Navigator Pro by my topo. What I want to do is put a higher resolution map on the GPS and so what I'm going to do here is first confirm that I've got my GPS set up to work with Terrain Navigator Pro and you can use the wizard but I just use the setup quite straightforward. The manufacturer I want is Garmin. I already have that selected and the Oregon series, the 400 series, 500 series I've already got selected too, so I'm good. Close that out. And now what I do is I hook the GPS in to the port. And as soon as I do that, it's going to say USB cable detected. Would you like to go to mass storage? And the answer is yes. So I select that, and it's going to save the current waypoints and routes and tracks. And now I have the computer looking symbol. I'm just going to set that to the side. Uh, this works great. I don't have to do anything else. This allows me to transfer both the maps as well as layers to, um, in terms of waypoints, markers and uh, or markers and routes and tracks from the software to the GPS and vice versa. Okay, so here I have it. What I want to do now is switch to a higher resolution map. The highest I have here is uh, 1 to 3600. Here is the pool, the area of interest. What I want to do now is just show you a little less detail, so I'm going to zoom out one level and I'll get rid of the red ring. Okay, so whether I'm a search and rescue um, unit doing an evidence search in this area, whether I'm a park manager considering revegetation or rerouting a trail, whether I'm a realtor that is looking to lease or uh, potentially subdivide an adjacent parcel, this is a lot more detailed than the 1 to 24,000. So to send it, all I do is come up to the GPS, uh, excuse me, send to GPS. Notice in addition to markers, routes, and tracks that have been, those features have been there for a while, just send current map. I can send the map as it looks, but I want to edit it to make it a look for the sizing that I prefer. Edit the map. This is all done in real time. If I want the coverage to be, uh, to show more, I just click on the more button and you can see it zooms out. If I want it to be less, I can also reposition this that's the area that I want. I also want to transfer this pool as a marker or waypoint, if you will, so I can navigate with that. But I also want to embed it so that it stays put. So I can have both. So now I'm just going to click that, change the name here to pool hyphen St. Ed. And the marker is already named pool. That's important for us to remember. And I'm just going to say save and manage. I want to show you the whole ball of wax, so to speak. So here's the pool. Available maps. I'm going to send that right now. If you look down here, you'll see that the Oregon series supports 100 of these tiles, if you will. And I'm using none. So I'm going to send this one. It's already selected. It's now here. And you can see I've used one. I have 99 left. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. 
close this and now what I'm going to do is disconnect the GPS turn it on it takes a second to power up now turn on the light once we get the GPS on almost there okay so this is the opening screen I don't want to choose map what I want to choose is setup so I hit setup and then under setup I want to choose maps and then under the maps I want to choose select maps which is the lowest one there bottom one and you can see we had the original two the one to 24 thousands the one to 100 thousands now we have a custom map the default is always to have every uh, custom maps enabled but I'll just show you if you click on that we can confirm hit enabled that's fine back out now since back out since I have a marker named pool that I transferred to the GPS all I'm going to do is go where to recent finds it's not there so all I do is go to waypoints because I haven't been to that and I type it P O pool is there hit that and then you can see my custom map that's already there plus the icon I'm going to close this so you can see a little bit better I'll zoom out so you can see how this looks so here is the tiled map that we brought in from Garmin or to Garmin excuse me from my topo terrain navigator pro and you can see the difference in the map that's available to us the background map the green is 1 to 24,000 the aerial is 1 to 3600 I'll zoom in again or zoom in again and of course you can scroll just by just takes a little second there and there is the detail there is a the detail and so great job bringing it in easily and giving you a lot of utility quality map that you can see I'll just zoom out a second here a little bit for work in the field and of course if you place markers here you can easily or waypoints or routes or tracks you can easily transfer them back to uh, my topo software thank you for 